Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's a girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, uh, please subscribe, keep watching our stuff, watch our previous videos, and just enjoy them. For people that are not new, welcome back. I hope you guys are doing all right. Hope you've subscribed too. And uh, thank you for supporting us for the last, I don't even know how many years, but thank you for your constant support. Thank you for 20,000 subscribers. Just thank you for everything and thank you for sticking around. Um, um, please motivate me or motivate us by suggesting things for us to react to. We'll be more than glad to react to them. But bear with us, we're going to react, them, uh, react to them with time. Uh, so yeah, what, what else do I want to say? You can find us on Instagram and Facebook as Funny and Jesse if you're too shy to suggest anything in our comment section here on YouTube. And yeah, say hi. We'll say hi back. And we'll, we'll be more than glad to interact with you guys. So today I'm going to be reacting to emotional Muslim convert story that will make you cry. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. Allah's mercy, my brothers and sisters, is open. It is wide, it, is, it encompasses everything, everything, the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. One of the stories, my brothers and sisters, that has touched my heart when I heard about this story was the story of a young boy and his father who was a sheikh. And this young boy and his father used to every week they would go and hand out uh, booklets, Islamic booklets, as dawah calling people to the right path, trying to give them advice. And the boy was 12 years of age. And then this weekend that, that came, it was freezing cold. The rain started to come down. And the young boy got all his clothes on and he got his jacket on and he went to his father and he said to his father, I'm ready to go, father. His father said, ready to go where? He said, I'm ready to go and hand out the books. But his father said, son, I'm not going to go this week. It's too cold. It's, it's, it's raining, son. But the son, he said, father, we must go. We must still do it. There, there's still people walking in the street, father. We must go and do it. The father, he said, son, it's cold. I, I don't want to go this week. I want to take a rest. It's too cold. And then the son, he said, father, we must do it. And then he said, father, will you let me go by myself and do it? So his father agreed and let him go by himself. The boy went downstairs and he began to hand out leaflets, walking through the streets, handing out leaflets. The rain started to pour down, to come down so hard, but he kept the leaflets in his plastic bag, handing them out to people. But now there was only one leaflet left, one dawa pamphlet left, and he wanted to give it. He wanted to accomplish his mission. But he couldn't find anyone now because now the streets were starting to get flooded. The rain was pouring down. It was freezing cold. So he looked where he could go to give this, this last pamphlet. He went to, the, to, to a house. He saw a house and he went to the door and he began to knock on this door. He knocked once. He knocked twice. He began to push the button. He, says, he said in his story, he said that he didn't know why he stayed there, but he continued to stay there to to continue and he kept pushing the buzzer pushing and pushing the buzzer until eventually until eventually a woman opened the door who was crying a woman opened the door who was crying and the little boy smiled at her and said Allah loves you I'm sorry that I have annoyed you Allah loves you and he is your caretaker he is the one who will take care of you and he has brought you this book and he gave the book to this woman and then he went home. The very next week, the very next Juma, in the Juma prayer, the Imam gave the khutbah and after the khutbah, uh, he asked the people, is there anything that you have? Because uh, he asked, allow people to do fatwa. And one person started to speak from up the back of the mosque in the women's section. And it was a lady. And she said, yes, I have something to say. She said, Wallahi, a few months ago, my husband died. I'm not, she, was, she said, I was not a Muslim. A few months ago, my husband died. And since then, I have been so sad. I have cried every day. 
In fact, I think I thought it was the end. I gave up. And then last week, I got a ladder, and I got a rope, and I tied the rope to the to the top of the house, and I made a noose, and I got a ladder, and I began to climb up the ladder, and I put the rope around my neck, and I had given up. I had just given up, and I was ready to give in. And then I heard this this buzzer, this I heard the door knocking, and buzzing. At first, I didn't think of doing anything, but then it kept buzzing and buzzing and buzzing, and it was annoying. So I thought, I will go down and see who it is. Who could it be in this rain? In this rain, who could it be? So she took the noose off her neck. She was about to kill herself. She took the noose off her neck and went down, went down to the gate, and she said she opened the door and she saw a little boy. She said she saw a little boy standing there with a smile like an angel that she had never seen before, and he said to her, he said to her that Allah loves you, and He is here to take care of you. Allah loves you, and He is here to take care of you. And I'm sorry to bother you, but He has brought you this book. And wallahi, she said that she went home, and she went inside and began to read the book. To read the book about Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, and she said after reading the book that she that she completely now disregarded the idea of killing herself, and then she continued to read more about the book, more about Islam, until she got more booklets on Islam, and then she became a Muslim, and now she is in the mosque, now she is in the masjid praying with the Jamaa on the Friday. Wallahi, my brothers and sisters. Do not despair on the mercy of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Do not despair on Allah's mercy. Do not despair on Allah's mercy, my brothers and sisters. Allah loves you. Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala loves you, and He wants you to return to Him. Do not be of those who become lost, those who are lost along the way. Kind of speechless, you know. People go through the most in life, not just people. You go through the most, I go through the most, and I feel like sometimes you have to find not only purpose in life, find a way of life that actually puts life back into you, um, if that makes sense. Because I'm just thinking, what if that young boy didn't? push to go out there that day that woman would have died and wow just wow i'm just glad she didn't go through with her plans and she she saw through that day despite all the sadness she was feeling here's a young boy smiling at her innocently and i'm everyone loves it when someone smiles at them and especially children and the fact that she got the book read it the same day and it changed her perspective on life instead of ending her life i'm sure she found purpose and a way to live in that booklet that she got you know she found that there was more to life than just easily giving up we should learn not to give up let's push as much as we can no matter the situation let's just push the minute we um give up we lose everything we lose sight of even bigger things in this world we lose sight of our souls and many things she didn't consider how her family would have felt she didn't consider a lot of things she didn't consider what her loss would mean for her family you know i'm just glad the boy got to her in that moment it's just it's a miracle it's really really a miracle um also the fact that she actually goes and testifies in the mosque and tells uh, she shares her experience that's something I wish the boy was there to actually listen to what she said or was he part of the crowd that was in the mosque I'd love to know that the fact that you can share your story with people and it motivates them or sees that there's more to life than just easily giving up I love such stories I really really love to hear other covert 
convert converting strays so yeah, let me know what you guys think if there's anything that you guys want us to react to drop the link down below that will motivate us continuously um react to stuff make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video